Hey, what's going on everybody? If you've ever seen anything like this before on a poster and you've wondered how to create it, I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by creating this small circle right here with our ellipse tool. Then we're gonna option or alt drag over and just make it larger. It doesn't matter what size you make it. And then we're gonna grab both of these circles right here and using our blend tool, which is option command B, this is gonna blend all of these circles together and it looks a hot mess right now. But what we're gonna do is select this and go over here to our blend tool and double click on it. And we have our specified steps over here. So let's just kind of bring this down to about 18 or so. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna put 18 of these circles in between our starting point and our ending point. So we're gonna have a total of 20 circles here. And we're gonna hit okay. All right, and now what we're gonna do is come over here to this side and create a large circle. And we're gonna use our direct selection tool and get rid of these little quadrants right here. So just select them with your direct selection tool and hit the delete key to where we just have this one left right here. Okay, and now let's move this over here and let's get this positioned exactly where we want it to be. So I want it to be negative two inches, negative two inches. We need to bring it in positive actually. So it's gonna be two inches in from the left and two inches up from the bottom. Actually, now that I think about it, we're gonna bring it over to the right side. So bring it in by negative two inches from the right side. And we're gonna select this and set our anchor point to the bottom right and we're gonna unlock these proportions right here. And I'm gonna hold down shift on my keyboard and go over here until we have 20. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give us two inches of margin around all of our sides. And then we're gonna go over here to height and I'm gonna make this go all the way up to the very top while still having that two inch margin here. All right, so now's the fun part. What we're gonna do is we're gonna blend this line with these circles and we're gonna make the circles follow the path of the line. It's gonna be really cool. So before we do anything, we gotta make sure that this line is brought to the front. So let's go to object, arrange, and bring to front. And now we're gonna select both of these and go over here, object, blend, replace spine. So as you can see here, all of those circles are perfectly following that curve. And let's say that you wanted the small ones at the top and the large ones at the bottom. All you have to do is hit undo and go over here, select this, right click and go transform, reflect, and transform it vertically, hit okay. And then we'll just do the same thing that we did earlier. So select both of them, go to object, blend and replace spine. Now we have the smaller circles at the top and the larger ones at the bottom. So now, as you can see, these are actually cutting into our two inch margins. No problem at all. All we have to do is select this, go to object and expand, make sure that object fill and stroke are all selected and hit okay. And now we're gonna do this one more time to turn that stroke into a fill. So we're gonna hit okay again. And now, as you can see over here, this is now a fill instead of a stroke. So now what we're gonna do is set our reference point to the top left, and we want a two inch margin on the top left. So we're gonna enter two in both X, Y, and Z. And now make sure that this right here is still unlocked. And we're gonna just bring this over here to 20. And we're gonna bring this to 32. So now these circles are still perfectly in line with our curve while also giving us those two inch margins. And then from this point, we might as well just make a poster. I've been listening a lot to lightning seeds. So I'll just make a lightning seeds poster. Okay, I like semi bold there. The bold is a little bit too heavy. Now let's set this to optical kerning. The San Francisco font is actually pretty good at kerning on its own. I think I'll go classic lowercase here. I didn't actually put any guides in place, but that's totally fine. We're just winging this one. All right, so just visually, what I wanna do is I wanna set this to about maybe right here or so, just kind of like visually in between everything. I may want to set this up a little bit higher. And since I love to live in a fantasy world, I'm going to say that they're coming to Nashville. <laughs> and I would love to see them at Marathon Music Works. And we'll say they're coming on my birthday. And we'll also say the tickets are only $15. <laughs> All right, so from this point, you can easily leave it black and white. But let's give it some color here. I actually really like the black and white. I'm gonna save this original. So I'm gonna create a copy of this by first hitting Shift O on our keyboard. That's gonna give us our artboard selection tool. And now holding down Option and Shift, I'm gonna drag this over and just make a copy of it. And I'm not sure why, but for some reason, I'm feeling a neon color palette. So let's do this. So we've got five colors here. So that means that for every six shape here, we're gonna make a selection. So let me do that. And now I'll just follow that same process here while I'm coloring the rest of these circles. All right, that's looking pretty cool. And let's go ahead and select the text and we'll just make it pure white and we'll give it a black background. All right, that looks so cool, I just love it. And as you can see right here, it's amazing how much color can change a poster. And I think I'll add maybe just a couple, like maybe two little circles here up here at the top. 
Remember, whenever you're making stuff like this, just play. There's really nothing wrong that you can do here. And your final product always comes from exploration. So just remember that. And we'll still keep the structure of our two inch margin here. So let's do that. And maybe for the green one, we'll set this behind here. It's really cool, although it's a little bit too saturated. So let's make this pink and we'll make this one right here green. Very cool. All right, so just kind of playing around there, you can easily keep these or you can just ditch them. So I'm just gonna ditch them just to see what it looks like. I like it, it's really cool. Although I think that these circles add some balance to it. So really you could go either way. All right, well, I hope I taught you something in Illustrator today. That was fun just improvising a poster from scratch like that. I hope you enjoyed that. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications to be notified of all future videos. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.